hey guys osa here welcome back to my channel so can we just throw november away <laughs> um it's been a real like mess for november 2023 um first we had the drama with kiki then we had the drama with um cassie and diddy and the settlement and all of the foolishness that uh, was going on in their relationship i'm gonna start with kiki i'm not gonna hold your ears too long but what bothered me about Kiki's situation is that her stuff got leaked online. Um, her personal, you know, business obviously got leaked online. She was kind of dating this guy that was not on her level. And, um, you know, I think because he was attractive, she was like, okay, like, I have the money, like, we'll be okay, you know? I'm just speculating. <laughs> I don't know these people, but... Of course, every time that we decide to date down, they show their colors and they're insecure and there's just so many things that comes along with it. So I think it's safe to say that when he had put out that tweet that you're a mom, you know, on the internet, we were just kind of like, really? Like, you're going to embarrass your girlfriend like that? The mother of your ch child, you're going to embarrass her like that? It was just... From that point, we could all tell, like, this guy is super insecure. He has ish he has issues. Um, what was so jarring about everything is if this guy could do this to a celebrity, imagine what he was doing to regular women. Because you have to be a special kind of, like, cuckoo crazy to assault a well-loved cele celebrity like that. So, um... You know, I really felt for her because obviously nobody goes into any relationship thinking that you're going to be a single mother. Um, and let's just go ahead and debunk the myth that even if you're married, you know, things that things happen and you can also become a single mother. The same thing with the Jeannie Mai situation, you know. So it's like it's almost like you're damned if you do, you're damned if you don't. Right. Um, like I said before, I really feel for Kiki because I feel like, like many women, it's almost like you don't want to have egg on your face. So you try to work things out with the person that you know is like not the right fit for you. So I know she probably just kept trying to put her best foot forward, realizing like, okay, this dude has issues. Um, but I'll try to like work with him. Like I don't this was you know i'm sure she was thinking like this was never like her plan you know um but it's it's unfortunate that they're now you know in this situation where she has to have a restraining order um just so so much craziness her mom's going off online a woman that we never see you know what i'm saying like so it's just it's just a lot it's just a lot and you know moving on to the cassie and diddy situation i feel like this man was in a position of power dating a 19 year old first of all i look at guys fun hella funny <laughs> um who are in their late 30s dating 19 year olds like what are you really doing she's a child <laughs> you know what i'm saying like her frontal lobe is not even fully developed yet like but that's not the that's not the main attraction for you right like the main attraction is she's young um she's sexy you know she's a sex symbol you know what i'm saying you just completely took advantage of this person and you were managing her and you were sleeping with her like those are all like red flags big no-nos and diddy had no issue with that no issue controlling this girl no issue um a attacking you know people who are attracted to her who are around her age like what kind of i mean they were just everything that was put out is like it was really sick and sadistic you know um so i think what bothered me most about the cassie situation was the comments you know the comments from both men black men and black women basically saying oh she's looking for a bag she's looking for a bag like that's what you got out of this <laughs> she should be suing him for um for money she should she should be suing him for monetary gain she's never going to be the same person again so she so it's almost like you know um 
what's that person thing who always says says pay me for my pain like i think it's funky nanny but she always she's she's always saying no you're gonna pay me for my pain and i think that's where cassie was coming from the statute of limitation was like is is going to be over november like 22nd or 23rd and I'm glad she filed it before that happened. I'm glad she put everything out. It was just 35 pages worth of stuff that she wound up putting out. And it, it just baffles me that the only thing that s some sick people got out of this is, oh, she's trying to get it back. She's trying to get it come up. Like, really? You know, my whole thing is, if none of this is true, Diddy could have definitely sued her, countersued for defamation. Why didn't he do that? Because allegedly it is true and it's sad, you know, um, and there's been rumors for years about what type of like monster this guy allegedly is, you know, but the thing that bothers me most is his camp, everybody around him are enablers and they allow this abuse to happen. Don't come out now speaking about how he was abusing her and doing you did nothing to stop it you know you and i get it he's he's powerful and you don't get in his way and all these things but it's like he was torturing a child okay she's 19 years old but he was he was torturing a young girl and that's it was it's just so inappropriate you know and and for people to think that she should not have some type of retribution or closure to this is insane. I was I was listening to another attorney speak about this and she basically said and I agree with her that you know when someone is brutally attacked by a police officer and they lose their life, families sue the you know um the precinct or you know they they sue uh the police department for a monetary gain. Are are you now saying oh she that that the mother is looking for a come up? No one is saying that. It's only when women are victimized that you, some people try to turn turn them into villains, and it's it just it's baffling to me that that people even even think this way, you know. So, needless to say, I'm very happy for um, Cassie. I'm very happy that her story is out. I'm very happy that this was settled quickly, and um, I hope she got more than what was reported you know the 30 the 30 million i hope she got more than that because this woman will forever be traumatized and for the people that are saying like you know she was just trying to be freaky and now she re she regrets being freaky uh no when you have someone grooming you and you have someone you think that you one when you have somebody grooming you you think I want to give this person everything that they are asking, right? Like, so she's just coming into her sexuality. And I mean, I'm just making this assumption, but it's like at that young age, you're just coming into your sexuality and you, you have this predator who's alleged predator. I'm not trying to get sued here, but you have this alleged predator who's now like trying to groom you and train you to suit their sexual needs. So she's going to go along with it he's managing her career she wanted her albums to come out you know like so it's like there was just power dynamic that was in place that just made it that much difficult for her to even get out for her to, to to escape you know and for everyone's shouting and screaming why didn't she go to the police why didn't she do that? you don't know what you would do if you were in that situation you know so extend this woman grace extend extend this woman grace she's been quiet for years she probably had a you know NDA that she had to sign and couldn't speak or, you know, until she sort sort out legal counsel who probably then told her, no, you, no, even if you signed an NDA, you can speak if you were like, um, if there was if crimes committed in within that NDA, you know, you can speak out. So, yeah, I just, uh, the only thing I can do is continue to hold her in prayer, continue to hold Kiki in prayer, the baby in prayer, and, you know, you know just just wishing them well you know like i just i don't get what this sick obsession is with 
wanting black women to fail with hating black women and seeking their demise and seeking like their downfall you know i don't i don't get that when it comes to black men and some black women it's disturbing it's it's disgusting and i really really wish that it would just stop um but anyway i just wanted to share like my like commentary on the situation is i just i find the kiki situation disturbing i hope that they can settle and you know like co-parent the best way that they can but it's hard to do that with someone who's a lunatic um allegedly a lunatic <laughs> and um the same thing with uh cassie the cassie situation i hope that she can find peace and i hope that no harm comes her way or to her family's way you know because these you know rich and powerful men you don't know like what they're capable of, capable of and the good thing is she put this out in the public and it's just kind of like if anything else happens you know we're gonna be looking sideways like really really um so yeah so safe to say november was a hell of a month and we are all looking forward to december and looking forward to the new year because 2023 is how it's starting to end is a is a real mess anyway i'll see you guys in my next video i just wanted to come on and just share a little something and um yeah just kind of like get this off my chest because it's something i've been thinking about when it came to both of these ladies all right bye